out of Russia this morning. Trials of the Sputnik vaccine are said to be up to 95% effective. That's around the same figure we've heard from the candidates from Pfizer, Moderna, and AstraZeneca at Oxford University. Russian officials are also touting the cost and the storage benefits of Russia's candidate. Chris Brown is our Moscow correspondent. Well, back in August, Russia was the first country in the world to announce that it had found a vaccine that works against COVID-19. But there was a lot of guffawing at the time because those results were based on trials involving really just a few dozen people. In the months that have gone by, Western vaccine makers have been running trials involving tens of thousands of people. And every time they would come out with a bit of good news about how well things have progressed, well, there would be Russia's Gamaleya Institute saying our vaccine, which we call Sputnik V, is just a little bit better. So there has been a lot of eyeball rolling associated with Russia's uh, efforts to develop a, va a vaccine. But today's announcement is likely much more significant. The Gamaleya Institute says that they have results from 19,000 people and that the uh, results show it's 95% effective after 42 days. It's a two-shot vaccine, so you get one shot initially and then a booster a little bit later. And those results put it in the same ballpark of success as companies such as Moderna and Pfizer. That's Kirill Dmitriev, who heads up Russia's sovereign wealth fund, which is bankrolling the development of the Sputnik V vaccine, saying it's great news for Russia and also great news for the world. What's significant about Russia's vaccine is its cost. It's $20 per person, and Dmitriev says that's about two or even three times cheaper than what uh, Pfizer or Moderna is going to put on the market. And it's also going to make it very popular for countries that aren't, say, as rich as uh, those in Europe, uh, Canada or the United States. Uh, Dmitriev saying so far 50 countries have already ordered 1.2 billion doses of Russia's vaccine. And those doses are going to start to go out on delivery in January. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow.